It's the stealthy females that do the lion's share of the killing. are freeloaders. They're not only lazy, they attract unwanted attention to the pride. So what's the use of the males? And is there some hidden advantage in their ostentatious manes? The answers may come from a slightly less dangerous beast. We want this to be something that is going to get a real reaction of the lions when they see Colors it. Colors okay? Everything okay? You Color looks great. Craig yeah, Packer has perfect. been studying the lions of the Serengeti like the, for 20 years. Now, with a little help from toy maker Anna Kapfenberger, he's devising a novel way of exploring the mysteries of the mane. What do you think about this structure? I think it's fantastic. Yes. Also, here this position is okay. Here you have a very rare form of ornamentation in a mammal that defies any easy explanation. We've wondered whether it's something that females might like, whether males might be intimidated by, and we really haven't got a clue. And until we are able to, to do proper experiments where we can manipulate this physical trait in meaningful ways, we'll never know for sure why the lion has its mane. So what we want to do is to take these very lifelike plush toys and take them out to the Serengeti, plop them down in front of some real lions, give them the choice between males with rather weedy little manes versus those with magnificent bushy manes and see whether females really get turned on by the bigger mane or whether males get really quite frightened by the bigger mane. How does the mane work? Well, <laughs> that is the secret. Okay. You see, you can take it out just like a cab. <laughs> you slip into something more comfortable yes. here. The Serengeti is not only home to the big cats, but to a variety of much smaller ones. The caracal, golden cats, servals, with the most sensitive hearing of all the cats. Cats have spread to most corners of the world. From the rainforests of the Amazon, home of the Anza or Jaguar, the ubiquitous cougar or puma found throughout the Americas. And the temperate North American forest habitat of the lynx. The big cats have moved into almost every imaginable niche. In the mountains of the Himalayas lives the most secretive big cat of them all, the fabled snow leopard. And in the valleys below lives the last of the tigers, perhaps the most feared of all the big cats. 